just around the corner Coming up just around the bend Holiday couldn't be here sooner Holiday for family and friends And we've got pine tree, pine cone, evergreen, mistletoe, candy this is Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. We're here today at Silver Dollar City. Believe it or not, we were here one week ago and it was 78 degrees. Now we are in the middle of a winter wonderland. On Sunday, it snowed like crazy. We had several inches. In fact, it's one of the first times I can remember in a long time that they closed for inclement weather. So they were not open Sunday, but they're open today and all the snow is still here. And it's beautiful and it's cold. So we're gonna see what it's like in the cold and snow. What do I look like? Elmer Fudd? Yeah, something like that. Like a, uh, you're hunting in winter, like a trapper. I just, I, I got to the point where I didn't care what I looked like, like at all. I just want to be warm. And your glasses my keep up. And I can't see a thing, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We're at Silver Dollar City and it's beautiful. It's beautiful and we are bundled. All right, let's go walk around. Hey, you know what? Parker, our son, he asked us, he said, why are you guys always go to Silver Dollar City. Just, it's cold out. There's nothing to do there. And like, we're we gonna, we said, we're gonna walk around. We said, you like that? And <laughs> we said, of course we do. And of course there are some things to do, even though I'm guessing most of the rides are gonna be closed today. You'll still have the train. You'll still have the flooded mine. And of course, fire in the hole and the shows. So still lots to do. Yeah. And this morning we ate somewhere. So we have to uh, uh, walk off all these calories. Where'd we eat this morning? There's gonna be a video about where we ate this morning. We ate at Billy Gale's and yes, they give you huge portions. So that was a couple hours ago and now we gotta walk that off. All right, stay tuned for that video. Candy King Santa Claus A gingerbread woman and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house and all Christmas Hey, Amy, why don't you preach? You want to preach? No, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to open, see, okay. I'm going to open this Bible and I'm going to point my finger. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a quick 15 second message on whatever I land on. All right, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Opening it up right here. What does that say? It says, thine eyes may be open upon this house day and night upon the place Whereof, this is King James, whereof thou hast said that you would put thy name there to hearken unto the prayer which they, thy servant pray <laughs> toward this mean. place. So here's the message, is we need to be in the place of prayer in the church, which is where God's presence abides, right? Yes, honestly, I didn't even have time to digest that scripture because I was having a hard time deciphering the vocabulary. The these and thys yeah. and theys and thus and... But it sounds like a good interpretation. Yeah. So I actually, I have a teaching online where I teach people how to teach. I'm a public speaker and a preacher and all that. And so the way we do it is it's a 10, you get 10 minutes to open the Bible and you you can't, you can't prepare. You open the Bible like I just did, you find a scripture, and then you have 10 minutes to prepare a message. So we start the timer. At the end of that 10 minute timer, you have 10 minutes to preach the message. And it's, it's pretty fun, it's pretty awesome, it works. I did that in speech class one time, not with, the, not with the Bible though, but when I was in college, they gave us fortune cookies and we had to break them open. And we had, I think, two or three minutes to prepare a two minute speech. And it was interesting, but I feel like I did my speech twice because I finished in a minute and I just ne needed more time, so I just said it again. <laughs> oh. That was cheating. Yeah. It's snowing. It's snowing. Yeah. Hey, wait, stay right there. No. <laughs> you want to go on the American Plunge? I don't think I could even if I wanted to, but I would not want to. It's crazy that it is literally 45 degrees colder than it was a week ago. I know.
Best way to get rid of your temper is to lose it. Oh, really? Yes! <laughs> so you might wonder why come to Silver Dollar City during the day when it's freezing cold and probably most rides are not going to be operating. And for us, we just like to walk around. It's beautiful and there's not a lot of people here, right? I like the lesser crowds and we just kind of, you know, we use it as a chance to get some exercise of that. So we're not necessarily here to ride the rides. If that's why you want to come, then you wouldn't want to come when it's below freezing. But there's still a lot to do, like we said, shows and parade and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Shops and coffee and... Um... Yeah, because you can't get coffee anywhere else. <laughs> But yeah, you can get Starbucks now here on Park. <laughs> Do you remember what that wheel just said about how to get rid of your your anger? Your temper. Your temper to lose it. To lose it. Should I lose it right now? Sure. You do look a lot scarier in your trapper's outfit. Hey, the parade's coming later. Remember that old tin type of my whole my family, I my mom and dad, years and years ago when you and your brother were young, it was cute. We were adorable. <laughs> So, so where are y'all from? Uh, Bonterre, Missouri. Where is that? Uh, it's about an hour south of St. Louis. All right. Oh, okay. Awesome. Cool. Escape room last night and asked for an invitation. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> How cool. Well, did you guys have fun last night? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which, Which game one? did you play? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's our newest one. Oh, awesome. cool. Well, we're glad. Did you, have you been to Branson before? Yeah. Okay. yeah. This is our 25th anniversary. Yeah. Oh, oh, was your car okay. parked out in the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We, we saw it when we drove in and we were like, oh, someone's celebrating their 25th anniversary. Oh, that's awesome. That well, is awesome. Well, <laughs> yeah, very cool. Well, good meeting you all. Yeah. And have fun. Today's cold out, huh? Yeah. I, dre I, dre I didn't care how I looked today. I just yeah. dressed like, like, yeah. like a... So he looks like a trapper. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. <laughs> good seeing y'all. So Amy, once again, we should say that we love it when people come up to us and say hi. Yeah, and it's so fun to meet new people. So they, they saw our channel and they actually parked in the parking spot we suggested in one of our previous videos. Yep, and um, we actually saw their van because it said 25th wedding anniversary and we were like, oh, someone's celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary and that was them. Yeah. Well, should we go on fire in the hole since we're here? Sure. Oh, it's open. I mean, it's closed. Oh, no. I don't know. Why don't we ask these people? Maybe they could see how desperately we want to ride and they would open it. I don't think we can do that. Oh, John and Amy desperately want to ride. Oh, it's, open. it's TPF. Hi. Well, how are y'all? How are you doing? Good. Yeah, you guys are coming We're currently experiencing a delay here at Fire and Hall. We have a fire exit that's frozen shut. Oh. Maintenance is oh. working on getting it fixed. A fire exit in frozen. Fire in the Hole is yes, frozen shut. Well, that's probably an important exit, right. I would say. <laughs> Okay. That's funny. Well, good. We'll be back. We'll be back. You too. So it's closed because a fire exit door is frozen shut. The irony, there's so much irony there. Right. I mean, and there's guaranteed fire there, so you would certainly, the fire marshal would really want those doors to work. Yeah, and it's the fire exit and fire in the hole, and it's frozen shut, which is like the opposite of fire. It's just so much. It's just, wow. <laughs> You know what, Amy? I miss the indoor shows. Here we are at the saloon show. Yeah. And I do, I miss the indoor shows. And I certainly miss the uh, It's a Wonderful Life and yeah. Christmas Hopefully Carol. Hopefully next year they'll be back. I have really enjoyed Cool Yule, which is their new Christmas show this year. And it's over at the Plaza stage. And that's been super fun. It's been something different. So I've enjoyed that. But yes, of course, we miss those classics. And hopefully next year they'll be back. We'll see. So here's, here's when Santa shows up.
We got some pictures with the kiddos. It's so creative how they're doing Santa this year. They have him in his workshop behind a plexiglass frame. And it looks really natural and it looks really cute. And the kids can go up to him and talk to him and say hello. And he has a speaker so you can hear him or a microphone, you can hear him. And um, it works really well. They said they have to keep Santa safe because he's 2,000 years old, you know, and he might be higher risk. But they've done a really good job of, you know, making it to where the kids can still visit Santa this year. Oh, yeah. So if you go this way, that's, that's all rides. And rides are just not going to be open today. In fact, I think they have it roped off. They sure do. And there's an employee sitting there in a chair. Answering all your questions about why the rides aren't open. Yep. So let's say it's 34 degrees. That uh, when it's warmer than 34, um, what is it? Outlaw Run will open. So we learned that. Yeah, and I don't know exactly how what the temperature is right now. I know it's a high of 37, so it's somewhere less than 37 degrees. So here we have the Spoken Ford Quartet coming up in about two minutes. So Silver Dollar City is only open for another couple weeks, and then Branson becomes a ghost town. A ghost town, sure does. So as, as we're walking around, we're seeing several areas of the park chained off. We showed you uh, where Outlaw Run was, that was chained off in the giant barn swing. Yep, and this is Fireman's Landing, and it's actually also closed off. So I guess after a snowstorm, a lot of things get roped off. So that might be something and to it consider. probably has something to do with the cold also. The cold and the the ice stuff like that yep so i would imagine fire and would be open by now flooded mine's going to be open train starts at four that'll be open so yeah still lots of shows to see and stuff if you're wanting to do that so i mean there's always something we enjoy just walking around usually when we come that's all we do and maybe ride the flooded mine we do that almost every time but other than that yeah but just keep that in mind so if you're coming and it's cold lots of the rides aren't going to be open and you got to prepare the kiddos because they're gonna be sad. Yeah, that's the thing. We adults can deal with it. The little ones, though, if they get their hearts set on riding a certain thing and it's not open, you know, tears. At least that's the way it goes in our house. Yep. So the rides in there, she said, open when it hits 35 degrees, which we must be less than that. I don't know exactly where we're at. Close to that, though. And then Firefall, which that's that big launch tower, that opens at 38 degrees. Interesting. Well, at five minutes till two, we've got Tinker's Toy Shop. So that tree is alive. It's a talking tree. This is a really cute show if you've never seen it. And this is really great for the little ones in your group. I uh, hear the train. It's warming up. Oh, good. Getting ready for four o'clock. Yep. All right, let's carry on. So we're gonna go over to the uh, Grand Expo and see what kind of shows we got over there in the Plaza stage. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Fa La 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 Follies. Too bad we can't go that way, huh? <laughs> we say that every we time. We say that every time. <laughs> the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right, right? We try to influence Silver Dollar Studio decisions. I don't think it really does anything. <laughs> They're like, oh, there's Sean and Amy again telling us to open that. <laughs> that it's uh, the best shortcut in the whole park. It is. And they could redevelop that whole area of the park and make it a permanent, you know, right now it's it changes by season, but make it permanent. Yeah, although it has been really great this season because we wondered what they were gonna do 
in, since they don't have the indoor shows, what they were gonna do, and they made this great outdoor Christmas show. Oh yeah, they did a superb job. All right, Christmas overload coming up. Look, Amy. Oh my goodness, is that true? It is I so guess exciting. It is true, yeah, nine days. Oh my goodness. What'd you get me? I can't tell you. Where, where do, uh, is there a place in our description where all of our TPF viewers can send us Christmas presents? <laughs> um, I think there's an address somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. You love walking super close to me, don't you? Oh yeah. You love me. There we go. There we go. Hey, look at that, Amy, the sun's out. I bet rides are gonna start yes, opening. Yes, I bet rides are gonna start opening. The sun just started shining and it's gonna warm up a little. So all those people who've been waiting to ride rides will probably be able to ride them today. This is so pretty, isn't it? All of the snow all over the city. I love this, I'm glad we came. We were considering just sleeping on the couch all day. It felt like one of those days when you just wanted to get under the covers and stay under the covers. We'd already had a pretty busy morning getting our flu shots and eating it with Billy Gales. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, that is a day right there. It's a day right there. So, this area we've got a whole bunch of kids' rides that will not be open, I, I'm presuming. But beyond this is where you find the Grand Plaza stage. The, is it the Grand Plaza stage or the Plaza stage? The Plaza stage. The Plaza stage. It's a, it's a, it's a new area. And as you can see with this yet to disappear wording, it, the Pumpkin Plaza is what it's called in the fall. Hey, they just, we asked one of the ride operators, she said it's 29.2 uh, degrees right now. So they actually have a little ways to go to open the ride. Yeah, so right now we're gonna watch the uh, Fala Lala Follies. We love this show. So this is where you can see Fala Lala Follies during the day and then Cool Yule at night, which is a great show. We love it. And right after Cool Yule, if you go to like the 5.30 show, you can see the six o'clock parade right behind us. That's where yep. they start the parade. Right back there. We've done that a couple times. That's the way to see the parade. Watch this Cool Yule show at six, I think, 5 or, so, or 5.30, and then we'll see the parade at six. Happiness and friendliness for all. Hi, Charlie. Hey, how you doing there, What do you call championship caliber chess players bragging about their abilities in a hotel lobby? Gosh, I don't know. What do you call championship caliber chess players bragging about their abilities in a hotel lobby? Chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> so all the all the ride operators are standing by. They're they're ready to drop the chains. Yep, any minute. But. Uh, Bun not quite yet. Has come out, but waiting. Were you wanting to ride the elephants? That's all right. Not today. You know, if it doesn't warm up fast, it's going to start cooling off. <laughs> so <laughs> that's true. There, there There's may not a be a possibility rides. we might not make it to 35 degrees or whatever yeah. our target temperature is to open some things. It's like 2.30 or something like that right now. Yeah, and it starts getting dark at 5, so. So it's going to start getting cooler instead of warmer pretty quick. Here's the train. So it starts at 4. And that'll, that'll run for sure. And But we're going to go on the flooded mine as we almost always do. And this is inside, so you can ride it inside. Yeah. <laughs>
And soon the train. The train will start at four. But then you have the parade, you've got and the carolers, you got yeah. Cool Yule Show coming up. Yeah, and all sorts of shows actually all over. Mm -hmm. So there's still a lot to do, but as far as rides go, just a few. When did we start becoming more about shows and, you know, the beauty of the park and all of that more than rides? Um, years. Must must have been many years. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking when I became an, a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> like even when we go to like Disney or any of those parks, we don't get mostly excited about the thrill rides. We get mostly excited about the dark rides. Right. We love the dark rides. We'll go on those over and over. But we're not really that into coasters and stuff like that. Like Space Mountain doesn't really do it for me. It's all right. Yeah. Our kids love coasters, but I don't know. I guess you get old and more crickety, you know? <laughs> crick, crick, crickety? <laughs> yeah. Not, not like the Avatar ride, super cool. Yeah. Um, what else we got out there that we love? Super Soarin', amazing. Soren, that's a great all that ride. Kind of stuff we love. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like roller coasters. Sometimes Pirates I get of the off Caribbean. and I have a headache the rest of the day. Yeah. You know, <laughs> when you're in your 40s and 50s. I like Splash Mountain, but my favorite part of Splash Mountain is the is the slow ride, not yeah, the drop. Yeah, we're like, if we could leave off the part where you go down and get wet at the end, we probably would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we want Silver Dollar City to add dark rides. Yeah, if they had more, that would be so awesome. And it would make the Christmas season all the better because then they'd have more rides in the cold. Folks, you have to go to the boat directly in front of you. Folks, you need to go to the boat directly in front of you. One of the families got on and went to the, a different boat than was right in front of them. And so then the people that were supposed to get on that boat had no boat to get on. And so they were trying to fix it. <laughs> the ride operator was saying, you're supposed to go to the boat right in front of you. And, and meanwhile, the people who were waiting for their boat didn't know what to do people <laughs> just obey the rules I can't see hey uh, I was hoping it would come off in one big block hey grab a snowball and right next to this Christmas sign and, and do a uh, we'll do it I won't stay in a well it's okay what am I doing go to that Christmas sign I watch your YouTube. I watch your oh awesome <laughs> thank you <laughs> somebody, somebody watched our YouTube right when we were making our thumbnail. <laughs> That's awesome. He said, I watch your YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, of course, people are going to stay until dark to see all the amazing millions of lights. But we are headed home because we had a great time just walking around. And I love seeing this perspective with the, the snow all over the trees and the ground and something we don't normally see at Silver Dollar City. So it was a lot of fun. We hope you enjoyed following, following us around in the cold and the snow. Safe travels, everyone.